Hello, in today's tutorial I will show you how to create a blast loading on a wall using minus NFX. For that we will use the nonlinear explicit module of minus NFX. So the first step will be to open the analysis mode of minus NFX and to create a new project. In this project, the first step will be to create your model for the wall and for that it's really simple just go in the geometry and use the box tool be sure to put the unit in meter before creating your wall so for the width of the wall we'll take 0, 2, 1, 5 uh, for in the y direction we will use uh, 5 and for the haste, haste of the wall we, we take 3. Click on the screen. Now you have to scale and you have your wall. You can hide all the guiders because you don't really need them anymore. Now what we have to create is a material to apply to this wall. For that here click on add to add a new isotropic material and give it the name wall elastic material so we will use elastic material for this analysis for the elastic modulus enter um, 118 E8 uh, so power 8 Poisson's ratio 0 0.15 and 2000 for the mass density and click on OK. Now to uh, assign this material to your model drag and drop it on your part and now you can see your material is assigned to this model. Now we will create a property for the mesh so go in 3D property, right click, add, and here select the wall elastic material in the material, click on OK, and your property is created. Now we'll have to create some boundary conditions for the wall. For that, go in the static heat analysis tab and select the constraint, select face type, and you just have to select the four faces of the wall and to fix them. Now we will create the pressure load that will uh, be equivalent to the, the blasting. So the blasting is in fact a pressure load which is applied, um, which is non-uniform applied in function of the time so we will create a static pressure load uh, you can call it blast pressure we will apply it directly on the face of the wall and for the amplitude we will give it one Newton per meter uh, square click on the face of the wall you apply this pressure and click on OK. Now we will create a time function so here you have a button for the functions and select time dependent and we will associate the static pressure load and the time function in order to create a dynamic pressure load. So the name uh, you can select blast function time for time t equals 0, we will take a value equal to 1021250. For time 0 0.01, value of 0. And now you have your function for the blast. Click on OK. Now uh, we have to mesh the wall. For that, select 3D Mesh and click on the tab Map Solid. Select the wall, 
And in order to get the better mesh, the best mesh possible, you will enter 0.04. You have some advanced option if you want, for example, to use the quadratic elements. Here we will use uh, the basic linear elements. Click on Preview to view the mesh and click on OK. OK, my mesh is created. Now the la last step is to create the di explicit dynamic case. For that, go into Analysis and Results tab, click on General, enter name Blast Analysis on Wall, and select Nonlinear Explicit Transient Analysis. Now you see here in the mesh you have your wall, um, then you have your boundary condition, and you have no dynamic load. So you have to create this dynamic load. Click on Nonlinear Explicit Transient and select Subscase Control. Here for the time duration, uh, we will use 0 0.01 and uh, approximately 10 outputs. We will, and to create the load, click on Additional Load. Here select the load set uh, which contain the pressure, static pressure load and here select the time function. For the attribute select global time, click on OK. Now click on OK to create, oh first what you can do is go in the output control and you can unactivate all the type of outputs you don't need for this analysis. So here we, we will only analyze the displacement and the stress. If you do that, the calculation will be faster. Click on OK. And now you only have to click on Perform and wait for the results. So you see the solver is launched and it will take a few seconds to solve this case. <clears throat> okay, now the computation is over. It took 65, 69 seconds to complete this calculation and when you click on the total displacement for the steps you are able to view the blast load. So how, how does it look like? So you see for the first step you have nothing and after that the pressure applied uh, progressively concentrates uh, on the wall and go on the center and as you are using a plastic material, uh, the material is coming back to the original position. So in order to get a better idea of the displacement at the, the middle of this, we can extract the position of uh, approximately the central node here and view the result in a table. We can select the two columns uh, of the time step and the result of the displacement and directly uh, print a graph. And as you can see, the displacement increase until it uh, reach maximum. And here, due to the plastic materials, it uh, go down again. So Probably at this stage, the wall would break under the blast. Now we can examine also the stress. So here we have the form is a stress on the wall. And using the probe tool, it's possible to 
view the value of the stress. So you see the stress is more important at this position than in the middle. If you want to visualize better uh, the center, for example, in red, what you can do is to uh, set manually the maximum value of the pressure, let's say, at uh, 3.3, apply. Now you see uh, better the stress in, at the middle of the wall. And if you're interested uh, by what is going in the middle, uh, so this is the clipping plane, we can set the scale to real in order to view better the stress and you can view the stress on the cut of the wall and to view the animation also for the Oh, sorry, you have to go back here and to set to automatic again. To view the animation, you can click on multi-step animation recording and on play, and you will be able to view the animation directly like that. And if you want to uh, see the mesh, you can also see the mesh. And you have some option if you want the fringe view. Sometimes it's better to view the contour in order to uh, see better the load. Okay, it's all for this tutorial on the blast load on the wall. Thank you for watching.